Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And I thought today we would look at the lesson that's assigned for Friday for the uh, morning prayer, the second lesson, and that is from St. Luke's Gospel, the 17th chapter, beginning at the first verse. Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come, but woe unto him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he was cast into the sea than he should offend one of these little ones. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day and seven times in a day, turn again and to thee and saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. And the apostle said unto him, Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord said, If he had faith as a grain of mustard seed, he might say unto the sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. But which of you, having a servant plowing in the field, or feeding cattle, will say unto him by and by, when he has come from the field, Go and sit down to meat? I will, I, and will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself and serve me? until I have eaten and drunken, and afterwards thou shalt eat and drink? Doth he think that servant because he did the things that were commanded of him? I, tr I trow not. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants, which have done that which is our duty to do. Okay, so two quick things I want to look at. First of all, the idea of forgiveness, right? It's really hard to think that we have to have our brother or sister, uh, blood brother, sister, or brother and sister in Christ, of course, uh, offend us and sin against us seven times. And if they repent, we have to forgive them seven times, right? And the whole nature of our life in Christ is forgiveness. And that's so hard for us to envision that if somebody sins and sins and sins again and again and again against us, we are, at least according to this part of the gospel, if they repent, we are to forgive them. Now, if they don't repent, we still need to love them and to try to forgive them in our hearts. Uh, we certainly don't want to give an opportunity for them to have more sin uh, by uh, somehow forgetting uh, and, and just kind of excusing sin. We don't want to excuse sin. That's very important, right? Um, how oftentimes does somebody will say, I'm so sorry I did this, this, and this against you? right? They've sinned against you. And we say, oh, it's okay. No, no problem, right? The right thing is, well, then you're forgiven and I love you. And that's an opportunity for us to teach and to show that because we're forgiven by God and we're loved by God, that we can extend the same thing. But then at the end here, this is the one I think is most important. We, you know, we all want accolades. We all want to, you know, a boy, good job, right? We all want a pat on the back. But the reality is when it comes to living this Christian life, uh, we're, we're the servants in the end of that story. And in the end, right, when Jesus greets us, you know, the, the greeting is, well done, good and faithful servant. But our attitude is that, look, I'm just an unprofitable servant. I do these things. Why? Because I've been commanded to do so. It's my duty, right? We, we, and again, we have duties as members of the body of Christ. We're to attend worship. We're to contribute to the support of the ministry of the church. And then most importantly, we're to love God and love our neighbors as ourselves. And if we do those things, we do them because it's our expectation. We don't have to have a pat on the back. We don't have to take, I'm so proud of you for coming to church four weeks in a row, right? You should come to church every week because we love Jesus. And it's where we can receive the blessed sacrament. So today's Friday. Uh, and I do hope that you are making plans to do just that, to come to church on Sunday and to invite folks to come with you. And I hope you have a fabulous Friday full of blessings.